Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Let's start the topic sublimation from chapter number 2 of book 1. The process in which a solid, when heated, directly changes into vapors without changing into the liquid state is called sublimation. Sublimation is such a process in which a solid directly changes into vapors into its vapor form. Usually what happens is, when we heat a solid, it comes to the liquid state. When we heat a liquid, it goes to the vapor state. But we have many solids that when we heat a solid, then without changing to the liquid state, they directly change into the vapor form. This process is called sublimation. The substances which show such properties are called sublime substances. For example, Naphthalene, iodine, ammonium chloride, benzoic acid, dry ice, camphor, etc. They are the various examples of sublime substances. Actually, हम इस टेक्निक को कब यूज़ करते हैं? इस टेक्निक को तब यूज़ किया जाता है, when we have a mixture of volatile and non-volatile substances. The solids which have high vapor pressure, they can sublime easily. The solid substance that is sublimed, यानी जिस substance को हम sublime कर रहे हैं, that is called the sublimant. Sublimant हमने किसको कहा? The solid substance that is sublimed is the sublimant. Whereas the pure solid obtained after sublimation is called sublimate. Now let's discuss the process of sublimation. For this, consider this figure in which we are subliming ammonium chloride. The given sample of the impure substance is taken on this china dish. The china dish is placed over a tripod stand and we have a burner below it in order to heat our sample. Here we have taken a sample of ammonium chloride. The china dish is covered with an inverted funnel. Inverted funnel ki opening ko hum close kar dete hain with a cotton plug. Now the substance is heated using this burner. The pure solid gets deposited in the inner side of the funnel as we can see over here. The ammonium chloride has solidified. Now when whole of the substance is removed, we stop heating. Now we can get our pure crystals by scratching it from the funnel. Another better method for this process to carry out is using a cold finger. Cold finger is just the name of an apparatus which is used for the process of sublimation. Coming to an important topic of chapter number 2 that is solvent extraction. Why we do solvent extraction? First of all, we will discuss that we have to do solvent extraction when we have to do it. We do solvent extraction when our solute is volatile and it is thermally unstable. Basically, solvent extraction is a separation technique. It is based on a principle which is called the distribution law. So before starting the process and discussing the examples, we must have an idea about the distribution law, which is also called the partition law. This law states that a solute distributes itself between two immiscible liquids in a constant ratio of concentration irrespective of the amount of the solute added. This definition make important point here that is the two immiscible liquids. जब हम बात करते हैं miscible liquids की, miscible liquids वो हैं which completely mix into one another, जबके immiscible liquids वो हैं which do not mix into each other and they form a layer. और हम आसानी से बता सकते हैं कि दोनों liquids और हम आसानी से दोनों liquids को एक layer की form में अलग-अलग देख सकते हैं. According to the distribution law, solute कैसा सॉल्यूट? जब हम सॉल्वेंट एक्सट्रैक्शन की बात कर रहे हैं, तो ये सॉल्यूट वोलेटाइल एंड थर्मली अनस्टेबल सॉल्यूट है। ये सॉल्यूट अपने आप को डिस्ट्रीब्यूट कर लेता है दो इम्मिसिबल लिक्विड्स में इन अ कांस्टेंट रेशियो ऑफ कंसेंट्रेशन एंड इट डस नॉट डिपेंड अपॉन दी अमाउंट ऑफ दी सॉल्यूट जब हम इम्मिसिबल लिक्विड्स की बात कर रहे हैं तो एक और पॉइंट यहां पे इंपॉर्टेंट है कि यहां पे हमारे पास एक पोलर और एक नॉन पोलर लिक्विड होगा क्योंकि we know that like dissolves like अगर दोनों पोलर हैं they will mix into one another अगर दोनों नॉन पोलर हैं they will also mix into one another so it means the two immiscible liquids are polar and the other one is non polar so according to the distribution law the solute distributes itself between the 
two immiscible liquids in a constant ratio of concentration. Partition law can be mathematically shown as concentration of the component in the moving phase divided by the concentration of that component in the stationary phase. This KD is called as the partition coefficient. Mathematically, we can also write it as KD is equals to CM over CS. This CS is the total concentration of the solute in stationary phase and CM is the concentration of the solute in the mobile phase. In the solvent extraction, there is an equilibrium between the solute concentration in mobile and stationary phase. Now let's discuss that how we do solvent extraction. In solvent extraction we usually use a separating funnel. In this technique the solute can be separated from a solution by shaking the solution with a solvent in which the solute is more soluble and along with that the added solvent should not mix with the solution. यानी हमें यहाँ पे अपना सॉल्वेंट सिलेक्ट करने में बहुत ही केयरफुल होना है। हमें एक ऐसा सॉल्वेंट सिलेक्ट करना है जिसमें the solute is more soluble और साथ ही साथ ये एडिड सॉल्वेंट हमारे सॉल्यूशन के साथ मिक्स नहीं करना चाहिए। So what we do is we place the solution and the second liquid into a separating funnel. The funnel is stoppered and the two liquids are shaken together. Let's discuss ether extraction. The most common laboratory example of solvent extraction is ether extraction. It is used to separate the products of organic synthesis from water. Actually, what happens is that we have some of the organic products naturally are present in the aqueous phase. Now, we select a solvent in which our organic component is more soluble such as we take ether. So, we take the two solutions in a separating funnel and allow them to separate. जो inorganic impurities होंगे वो aqueous phase में ही रह जाएंगे जबके जो organic compound होगा वो move करेगा from the aqueous layer to the ether layer फिर हम ether layer को separate कर लेंगे organic product हमें आसानी से हासिल हो जाएगा because the ether will be evaporated let's see a separating funnel this is a separating funnel in front of you it is available in various volumes. It is available for dealing with various volumes. Here we have taken water and kerosene oil. In a similar way that we have discussed the example of ether, we can also extract oil from water. The oil present in water cannot be separated by any other method. We can't use crystallization ka process. We can't use sublimation ke process se nahi kar sakte, kyunke sublimation mein humne heat karna hota hai. Yaha pe hum use kar rahe hai solvent extraction. We have to be very careful in selecting our solvent. We should select a solvent in which our solute is more soluble. Solute is me more soluble hoga tabhi wo apne aqueous phase ko chhod ke organic phase mein jayega. And along with that the solvent should not mix with our solution. Now we take the two liquids in a separating funnel and shake the separating funnel and let them separate. Let them settle down. After some time we can clearly see a layer as these two are immiscible liquid. But as we have given time the organic component from the aqueous layer will move into the organic layer. We will separate out the organic layer using a beaker. हम इन दोनों लेयर्स को सेपरेट कर लेंगे बहुत ध्यान से पहले वाटर को एक अलग बीकर में निकाल लेंगे और अपनी ऑर्गेनिक लेयर को अलग बीकर में निकाल लेंगे लेट इट इवैपोरेट एंड वी विल गेट द ऑर्गेनिक कंपोनेंट नाउ अगेन ऐड अ स्मॉल पोर्शन ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिक लिक्विड एंड अगेन डू द सेपरेशन प्रोसेस सो इट इज बेटर टू डू रिपीटेड एक्सट्रैक्शंस यूजिंग स्मॉल पोर्शन ऑफ द सॉल्वेंट because it is more efficient than using a single but larger volume of solvent because it is all according to the distribution law. We have distribution law mein ye baat kar chuke hain that the solute will distribute itself into the two immiscible liquid in a constant ratio of concentration. So for an effective and efficient separation, it is better to use repeated extraction using small portion of our solvent whether we are using ether kerosene oil etc better to use small portion of the solvent and repeated extractions are done